if you are still looking for the perfect laser engraver or cutter for you and for your wallet, it ends here. This is Sofera Laser 2 from Ortor. And for this video, I'm gonna tell you why would you want this machine over the other diode lasers out there in the market. Plus, I'm gonna give you discount vouchers so that you can get your own Sofera Laser 2. So stay tuned because you don't wanna miss this video. Hi, I'm Sol, the creator behind Coffee Break PH, the channel dedicated to DIY and technology and totally not coffee related at all. As I mentioned earlier, this machine is a Ferro Laser 2 with model number LU24SF. This is a diode laser capable of engraving and cutting. I've tested it on several materials and I'm gonna show you later on in this video. Okay, to start off, how about a quick unboxing? The parts are very well secured with foams. First thing you'll see is a manual. You'll notice in the front, it has a link and a big QR code. This directs to a page to their website that contains the actual instructions and how to use this machine. As for this manual, it only shows the part list and safety instructions. Next, you'll see a couple of certificates. Probably this pertains to the expert regulations or quality assurance. Uh, probably. I'm not sure. This package includes an adapter, Y-axis right part, Y-axis left part, X-axis rear part, a very long USB cord, focal gauge board, you'll use this for focusing the laser, laser goggles, X-axis upper part, this is where you're gonna mount the laser module, a zip bag of accessories containing M5, 25, and 8mm screws, thumb screw, wrench, hex key, zip ties, brush, and several materials that you can work with. The black one is actually in an anodized aluminum plate for adjusting focus. Okay, I might be mistaken but I think you're gonna use that with the other models and not with this model. I think. As for this model, this helps a lot. And we have the laser wire, power adapter, X-axis front part, and the LU24SF laser module. <sighs> Okay, I know this is a lot and probably overwhelming for others, but I swear, the assembly for this one is pretty easy. First thing I did is put the frames in the right positions. Get the M5 screws and the hex key and start with the front left corner. This one. Screw in the 25mm screw in the front left corner, then do the same on the front right corner. Then get one 8mm screw and secure it from the side. Now go back to the front left corner, then get the ground wire and insert the 8mm screw and drive it into the side as well. After that, drink some coffee. Next thing, secure the back part. Same thing, drive in the two 25mm screws first, then the 8mm screws for the sides. Before attaching the upper part of the X-axis gantry, pull both Y-axis mounting plates all the way to one side to make sure they are all properly aligned. Then just line up the holes to the corresponding screws and put washers on them. Get the wire from the X-axis front part and put the ground wire through one of the screws and secure it with the cap nut. Use the included wrench to firmly secure the cap nuts. Then plug in the wire for the X-axis stepper motor and secure the wires with zip ties. Grab the laser wire and attach it to the wire labeled L and secure it with zip ties behind the X-axis gantry. After that, flip the entire machine upside down. Secure the black wrapped wires from the front module into the frame using zip ties. Then plug in the wire labeled Y1 into the nearby stepper motor. Then put the Y2 wires through the hole in the base of the frame and plug it into the other Y stepper motor. After that, you can flip the machine back. Get the laser module and the thumb screw and drive the thumb screw into the hole behind the module. Then slide the laser module into the mounting plate of the X-axis gantry, then tighten the thumb screw. Next, plug in the laser wires on top of the module, then loosen the nearby screw to attach the ground wire. Then tighten back the screw. Then you'll notice there are under the y-axis frames. If you find these belts a little bit loose, you can tighten them by rotating the adjustment knobs under the frame. Rotating the knobs clockwise will tighten them and counterclockwise to loosen them. Remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, no? 
<laughs> when doing this, do not over tighten the belts. You can also adjust the x-axis belt if you find it a little bit tighter, a little bit loose. To do this, you have to loosen the screw on this part, pull it outward to tighten, and move it closer to loosen it. Then tighten the screw back if you're okay with the tension. And that's it for the setup. <laughs> <laughs> the work area for this machine is 390 by 390 millimeters and the actual machine size is 23 by 23 inches. And on the face of the machine, you'll see the front panel. Uh, this one. First port is for the power adapter. Second one is the USB port. So you're gonna plug this directly to your PC or your Mac. The third one is labeled as offline controller. It's like an LCD display that you can see the status and the details of the machine, but I'm not sure if you can control it from that one. Unfortunately, that is not included in the package and you have to purchase it separately. After the offline controller port, you'll see two small buttons. The one on top is the reset button and the one at the bottom is the power button. So if you are ready to engrave, head over to your PC or Mac and download the software that you're gonna need to communicate with this machine. These are the softwares you're gonna need to communicate with the machines, the laser gerbil and the laser burn. But take note, laser gerbil is only available for PC. For PC and Mac, you can use light burn, but for light burn, it only gives you 30 day trial period. After that, you have to purchase the software. In my case, I use laser gerbil. Now it's time to calibrate the height of your laser module. Look for your focal gauge board and remove the protective sheet. Well, I think you don't need it. To calibrate, put the focal gauge board on top of your workpiece, then lower your laser module module until it's already touching the acrylic sheet. Tighten the thumb screw and you're ready to go. Okay, maybe by now you're wondering how to operate this machine. So plug in the power cable and the USB cable. Turn on the machine by pressing the power button for a few seconds. Open Light Gerbil program in your PC. You might be using Lightburn and my instructions may not be that identical. Just look for the corresponding features and you're ready to go. Choose the correct COM port. Choose the file or design that you want by clicking the open file button. Load your design and supply the necessary settings. If you're interested in the settings that I use, leave a comment down below and then I will share it on my TikTok account. Here. Click the unlock button below. After that, you will be able to control your machine. Click the frame button below to see the engraving area. Then move your material as needed. Once done, click the play button on top to start the process. Okay, so this red protective attachment thing located at the bottom of your laser module really helps protecting your eyes. Just make sure that the opening is facing away from you. Uh, this one. Then even with that and you think that the laser is still too bright for your eyes, just put on your protective goggles. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the result of my engraving. This one. So this material is pine wood and I think... Uh, the logo came out great. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. A little. Okay, it's too dark. The, the laser is too strong. I have to tone it down. But hey, this is the first engraving. Not bad. Included in the package are some test materials that you can work on. Uh, like this one. So I engraved my logo. Look, after adjusting the strength of the, my laser, it came out really, really good. Right? Then here, I engrave Orthor's logo as well. See? Very nice. Huh? I like it. There's this, a brush included in the package. So you're gonna use this to dust away, uh, to brush away the debris. And I'm thinking, I think this will look better with the logo. And it did. Nice, huh? Engrave anything that you see. <laughs> and you'll have also this black acrylic and I engraved Orthur's logo here as well. You see it? Yeah, baby. Orthur. Then I tried engraving and cutting and this is the result. See it? Very nice. So what I did is I engraved the logo first. After that, I load another design, a different one that only contains the outline and that became the cut line. So I made the settings for the laser a little bit strong to cut it. Then I found some felt paper in the house and wondered what the result would be. This, what happened? See? Then I found some paper and uh, look. It's look like it's printed actually. Then I found some pencil and you know what happened. Then lastly, uh, this would probably be my favorite test. I engraved the photo of me and my wife, and uh, this is the result. Probably there's some still room for improvement, but 
for the first try not bad okay since you have reached this part of the video go to the description box and look at the last few lines of the description box those are the active discount codes that you can use so that you can buy your own of laser too okay so what are my thoughts with this machine i really really love it <laughs> well i haven't really explored it entirely for the time being i really love it it's easy it's fast the, the, the engraved quality they are really defined this machine doesn't have any limit switches so probably you will see a home button in laser gerbil and uh, light burn when using this one do not click that one because probably the gantry will just bump the frame I think it will make a noise something like that <laughs> so maybe you're wondering what happens now that the machine doesn't have any home so once you turn on the machine when at whatever position the gantry is x and y uh, that will be the considered home coordinates of this machine the laser is here that's the home coordinates if i move it here in the middle and then I turned it on, the laser will start engraving in this position. The laser module, I love it. Uh, it's strong, it's dynamic, and the entire thing, the entire machine, it's fast, it's pretty cool. Okay, another thing that I like with this one, um, it's the calibration. Uh, when I talk about the calibration, this is the adjustment of the height of the laser module. I mean, it's really easy. All you have to do is just um, use the focal gauge board, the acrylic, the orange acrylic, put it on top of your workpiece, lower the laser module tighten the thumb screw that's it all right so since this is a laser engraver expect that it will produce a lot of smoke especially if you're working on with wood so i highly suggest that whenever you're gonna engrave especially with wood put this in a well ventilated area and as needed you can also wear a face mask all right so someone asked me how much the machine costs and if he can buy it from the country that he is in. Okay, so the cost of the machine might differ from the time you're watching this video. So check the link in the description box. It will direct you to the page of Ortor and you will see the current prices of each model. Upon accessing their website, you will get prompted asking from which country you lived in. Then if you can find your country in that drop-down list, that means you can buy your Ofera Laser 2 directly from Ortor. If you have any other questions regarding this machine, leave a comment down below and I will answer that in my TikTok page here. <laughs> I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much, Arthur, for sending me this of Aero Laser 2. I really, really, really love it. And as a support to Arthur, please like their Facebook page and their other social media channels. Again, if you're interested in getting your own Ofero Laser 2, just check the link in the description below. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Arthur, thank you so much.